Hi everyone, and welcome to another Memento online tutorial. I'm Karina, the digital producer here at Memento, and I've designed these tutorials to show you just how easy it is to make photo books and stationery with the Memento software. Photo books are a fantastic way of keeping your memories alive. Within this tutorial, I'll show you how to load your photos into the Memento software and how to start a photo book using a manual photo book layout option. Before you begin your photo book, it's a good idea to review the photos that you'd like to include, cutting out any duplicates or dud shots. You'll also find it easier if you rotate them in the correct orientation before you start. On average, a large photo book uses about 300 photos, so I choose my best 300 that help tell my story. To begin creating your book, open the Memento software and click on the Photo Books button in the Start view. Now choose your shape and size. Take care to choose your shape wisely because you can't change it after you've started. I suggest you choose grand size because you'll always be able to print your project at a smaller size when you go to order it later. If you don't plan to use all your photos or if the photos are spread over several folders, then I suggest you copy them into a new folder before you start your project. Be careful to keep all the original photos backed up on your hard drive. You can always add more photos to this folder while you are working on your project. There are many different ways of designing the layouts for your photo book, as you can see here in the start view. Today, I want to show you how easy it is to begin with a blank canvas and create your own layouts as you go. So let's choose manual layout. We've now arrived at layout view, which is where I'll do most of the editing and tweaking of my design. Once I have opened a new project, I access my photos by clicking the folder button in the photos panel on the left. And then choosing the folder where my photos live. I'm now free to start designing my book by dragging the photos from the photo panel on the left and dropping them onto the page. To start with, there will only be one page, so click the new button to add more pages. Memento photo books have a 200 page limit. To help make my designing experience quick, easy and fun, the Memento software has shortcuts I can use. Apart from giving me access to my photos, the panels on the left allow me to design with free embellishments. And to format my photos using page layout templates. The panels on the right are for design tools, downloading content and uploading my finished project. The bottom panel is used to select, add or delete pages and the add text button at the top right lets me insert headings, captions and other text. To begin a new design, drag and drop your photo onto a new page. If I didn't drop the photo exactly where I want it, I can click and drag it into the correct position. If the photo is in danger of getting too close to the edge, the Memento software will let me know with a red edges warning icon. To change the size of my photo, I drag the small green tabs on its corners. If I scale it too big, the software lets me know with a yellow warning icon. If I don't like something in the photo, or if it just isn't the right size, I can easily crop it by dragging the red tabs and moving them in. If I want to recrop my photo, I can drag the translucent area which shows the crop part of the original photo. I can also rotate my photo by clicking on the circular arrow above my selected photo. 
or I can use the rotate buttons in the tools panel to rotate my photo by 90 degrees. To complement my photo or to create a more interesting design, I can also add in backgrounds, frames and embellishments by clicking and dragging them onto the page. To speed up the design process, I can also use the templates provided in the software by clicking on layouts and selecting templates or ACE. I can leave the layout as it is, or I can use it as a starting point and adjust it further. Finally, if you want to change the colour, hue, saturation or opacity of any photo or embellishment, you can use the quick tools in the panel on the right. Have a play and see what you can do with just the click of a button. Now is a great time to save your project and remember to save regularly. Our software will also auto save your project every minute. It's a good idea to make a folder specifically dedicated to your Memento projects. You can then file your MBK and PDF files in one spot and easily find them again. At any stage you can see what your pages look like together by clicking on the preview button. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to proceed to the finish screen and export your project. This creates a high resolution PDF for your pages ready for printing. The best advice I can give you is to not ignore the warnings listed in the finish screen. Double click on any warnings to see how to correct the issue. Once the export is complete, triple check your preview PDF for any export errors, alignment or spelling mistakes. You could even get someone with fresh eyes to take a look, as they might see something you don't. Please take into account that your photos may appear different on screen than in print. When you're 100% happy with your project, click Upload to send your master MBF file to the Memento website. After it's successfully uploaded, you can then place your order. Just remember that once you've ordered your book, we can't edit your file or change your order. If you'd like some more info or fresh design ideas, please head to our blog or the inspiration and help pages on the Memento website. We hope this helps and if you have any suggestions, questions or feedback, please send us an email or give our customer service team a call on 1300 799 764. We're here to help.